Hi, I'm Jeff with ArmadillaPepper.com. Today I'm going to make some butt rubbed baby back ribs and then finish them with a strawberry ghost pepper glaze. Now the inspiration for these ribs came from Nate over at White Thunder Barbecue. If you guys haven't checked his channel out, he makes some awesome stuff over there. He actually made a strawberry jalapeno barbecue sauce. Now we're not going to make a strawberry barbecue sauce, but we're going to use a glaze. And this glaze is based on a strawberry ghost pepper pepper jelly that you can make in about 15 minutes. season these ribs I'm going to use this butt rub and the reason I chose uh, butt rub uh, other than the fact that it's an awesome rub is um, it doesn't contain sugar and we're going to have plenty of sugar and sweetness when we glaze this so what I'm going to do is just liberally cover this guy um, cover it in saran wrap and then let it sit in the refrigerator for about 18, 19 hours before we start the smoke. I have removed the membrane. I prefer no membrane. I do know that folks, some folks like to leave it on and score it and all kinds of other options out there, which is awesome. But everybody at this house prefers it with the membrane off. Now because we're gonna have plenty of sweetness from these fruit glazes, I'm going to use mesquite wood for these ribs. All right, our butt rub ribs have been in the fridge overnight. I just got them out. You can see they really look nice. They still got plenty of uh, rub on the ribs. So let's get these in the smoker. smoker set at 225 degrees and we'll let these go about two and a half to three hours before we check on them. The color on these really looks nice. Let's get these out. It's been about two hours, 45 minutes. And we're going to foil them. This is the only foil I have. It's not very wide. Now, I know some folks put apple juice in here or beer or what have you. What I'm going to do is, I've got this, uh, we're going to put this strawberry glaze, so I've got this Red's Strawberry Ale. I'm going to put a little of this in here. Not too much. And then I'm, you know I'm going to have to double wrap this because this foil is so narrow. And I'm going to put these in here for about 45 minutes. Okay, these butt rub ribs get in there in the foil for about 50 minutes. Oh, look at the color. Oh, look, you can just see the moisture on the top of those ribs. What I've done is poured this strawberry ghost pepper jelly in a bowl, melted in the microwave for about 30 seconds. And I will definitely put a link in the video here where you can uh, get this recipe. You can make this in about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, the recipe is only four eight ounce jars, so if you're not into canning, the recipe is small enough where you can make it and use it. I can tell you one thing, the color's great, the smell is great. Okay. Now, uh, we've got them covered quite nicely. Let's get these back in the smoker. Okay. I'll glaze these every, say, 20 to 30 minutes, thereabouts. Okay, it's been one hour. I've glazed with this strawberry glaze twice. You can see these guys have that nice red color. I'm just gonna give these guys a cut right in the middle. We had one hour, glazed them twice with that uh, glaze. All right, let's 
let's give one of these butt rub ribs a try with this strawberry ghost pepper jelly glaze. Oh. Okay, so right away, these things are just full of moisture. Pull with knife. Just takes a little bit to get it off the bone. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. If you're worried that these are going to be too sweet, do not worry about that. The sweetness is just at the, it's very, very mild. You get that nice, meaty rib flavor. Mmm. I mean, these are so moist. What a great seasoned rib. Hey, I hope you'll give these a try. You can make that um, strawberry ghost pepper glaze in just a matter of 15, 20 minutes. Mmm. If you like what you saw today, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment below.